All right, gang. Wait for you seeing your back. Today, I'm going to go back to the old school roots and cover the Russian lion who was George Hackenschmidt. George was born in 1878, passed in 1968. He experimented with lifting weights from a lying position, and back in, nine, in 1898, lying on the floor, he pulled a 330-pound barbell over his head and pressed it from dead start on his chest to arm's length. He then rolled over a barbell with 19-inch discs so that all it required was for him to turn his head to one side, and then he pressed the loft 361 for then world record. There was no arching or belly tossing of the bar. This feat was performed in Vienna and recorded in the Hacks Classic, The Way to Live, and it was to remain a record for 18 years. Now, The Way to Live, I am going to share some excerpt, excerpts from, and you can find it at the Didlo blog, which I keep telling people about. The place is awesome. Um, there's an actual link to the entire PDF of Hack's great book, The Way to Live. The Way to Live in Health, Physical Fitness by George Hackenschmidt. And he starts uh, talking about that the uh, principal food for man is air. Uh, he talks about the importance of rest. In the beginning of the book, it has kind of a beginner's program where you're just doing calisthenics and like uh, self-resisted exercises. But then he goes on um, to the main exercises for people that, you know, at least have maybe six months or a year of some kind of training under their belt. And uh, starts out with the good old bridge on the neck, which, you know, is, is an old school lift that nobody really does anymore. You might want to try it. I, I wouldn't do it with any weight. You put a pillow under your head and do a bridge, uh, and it's shown in the illustration. And then he suggests that only doing this with like maybe 20 or 30 pounds when you're starting. And then uh, sticking with the neck, he does like a kettlebell thing where you got a kettlebell hanging off your neck. And um, you just lift him up and down. And he goes on to uh, shoulders, doing shrugs, uh, some overhead lifts. All the lifts are going to have uh, little diagrams and descriptions of exactly what he expects you to do. There's a couple unusual lifts here that I haven't really seen, like this one shoulder lift where you're just kind of have a pair of dumbbells at your side and you're bringing them up like with the kind of bringing the dumbbell up to almost your underarm so that your elbows are sticking way out to the side that's something i've never seen done but he does have you doing that and the overhead lifts uh basically um military press a clean and jerk one arm dumbbell press Again, these are all described and how, mu how much, even how much weight he's suggesting, but obviously that's it's a personal thing. Uh, dips on, from, uh, he talks about doing dips between a chair, between chairs. Um, you could just do, he's, it's really just push-ups, which he's showing here. Again, you got to remember that back in these days, they did not have benches. They did not have power racks. Um, pa crude power racks came along uh, as Hack got it a little bit older. Um, and then, so if you were going to do a, basically a bench press, you really pretty much either had to have uh, this big enough that would, uh, where you would fit under the bar because of the size of the disc, or you would have to do like a pull over and press. Uh, but, you know, he did all these things, and obviously we talked about him setting a record with a pullover and press. Um, then he shows, like, a power clean, more shoulder stuff, and a pullover. Then he's doing flies, again, on the floor, because they didn't have benches. And then he goes into a series of uh, 
stuff for the abs, back, and hips. Self-explanatory, the pictures are... Pictures and descriptions will give you enough to go on on those. Uh, and then he does this uh, thing which almost looks like a good morning, but with the bar held out in front of you. So that's pretty interesting. It's another one I haven't seen. And then it's pretty much a straight deadlift off the floor. And then uh, leg exercises. They had iron boots back then. So, you know, just lay on the floor, lift your legs up one at a time. And he describes uh, doing like 10 reps. And then just a sit up with a barbell across your feet. And... Uh, Nothing earth shattering. There it goes into a grip exercise, which I think we're all familiar with. And uh, but he does it between chairs here. Now I have to imagine that um, if you had a long enough rope or wire, whatever, on your on your stick attached to that weight, that you're it's going down in between chairs that you're standing on, and you're rolling that thing up from the bottom. That's going to be one forearm killer. Because just a regular one where you're rolling it up a few feet and back down is tough enough. I've done those. I actually did a, a DIY video on a wrist roller at some point. And there's a gym version of that too. They did have gyms back in those days. Uh, then he talks about leg exercises, which of course he's going to talk about the hack lift, which there's a diagram of. And uh, he's he's only talking about using really light weight with this, like 10 or 20 pound barbell behind your back, with your hands crossed, and then you're up on your heels, which makes it a little bit awkward. Um, and then just doing a full squat as shown. Then, of course, your standard barbell squat with feet flat on the floor is also shown. And he talks about jumping and running and skipping and doing all these things. He was big on running. He really enjoyed running. And he was very good at it, too. And then the last exercise, which I do not suggest that anybody even try, is this freestyle leg press where you're laying back, grabbing a barbell, bringing your feet back, putting a barbell on your feet, and then bringing your feet down and, and doing a leg press, like freestyle. If you're going to try anything like that, I would suggest doing it like in a Smith machine or something, not freestyle, because that's just insane. Okay, so that's about it for the program. There is more in the book. Like I said, you can download that entire PDF at uh, the Didalo blog, and I suggest you do that. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.